Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Late Late Show. We hope you had a wonderful day. Thank you so much for ending it here with us right now. We're so happy to see you. Now, as you'll have seen last night, if you tuned in for safety reasons, we're not allowed into the regular studio right now. So we're here doing the show in my garage. Basically, we're two weeks away from being downgraded to a podcast. That's that's where we're at. But, you know, I'm here, you're here, Reggie's here. The band are here, Ian's here, they're all yeah. in their houses. Yeah, look, I know what you're thinking, it's weird. It is. Can't get away from it, it's weird. I do, I don't like this. I prefer having the band in the same room with me, you know? I feed off their casual disinterest. <laughs> but tonight you'll be chatting with the dashing James Marsden. Later we got a performance from Tim Minchin. Stick around for that. I will say this, I do like seeing inside the band's houses, you know, given how I've never been invited to any of them. <laughs> but honestly, I, I really thought when I finally got to see the inside of Guillermo's house, it would involve me putting my keys in a bowl. Uh, <laughs> wow, this is, you're getting a lot of mileage off this one <laughs> scenario. I, what I do you mean? Of course we are. What do you mean? What else is there to yeah. work with, Guillermo? This is all we've got. <laughs> No, no, no! I'm, I'm, I'm all for it. I just, I'm just commenting on the obvious. Now you're all for I it. I like efficiency. I like that. I like, would you swing with me, Guillermo? Would you genuinely? Let's say we have a couple of drinks. <laughs> it's come to this. It really has. You're the only member of the band I'd feel confident in that position. Really. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Well, look, we're here. We're doing it. I mean, Ian. We talked a little about this last night. Is there a worse setup for comedy than what we're doing right now? <laughs> uh, I, didn't, I didn't stand up once in a barbecue restaurant where a gang of bikers were revving their engines outside through my entire set because the previous comedian had pissed them off. And this is worse than that. So no, this is as bad as it gets. <laughs> I don't like this situation. I really don't. I mean, look. <laughs> Meanwhile, you just know that Jay Leno is somewhere going, telling, a jo telling jokes in the garage? That's my dream job. <laughs> <laughs> That's my impression of Jay Leno. But is that joke written down there? You're just riffing. What's, what, what's the, well, what's the ratio the here? That's the beauty of it. You'll never know. <laughs> You'll never know, G. <laughs> You'll never, ever know. What do you think? Okay. What do you think? I don't want to use my brain energy like that. <laughs> Your brain energy? Well, at work. For the one hour a day, you're at work. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to use my brain when I'm in work hours. <laughs> <laughs> for that. For that. Sure. Yeah. Let's be specific. Um, right. right, right, right. I can tell right. you, it was written down. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Tim. Tim, you're going to burn quite a few calories this week. That's right. Yeah, yesterday uh, I did a little summary. It was a 468 calories during no. the time. No. That's yeah. a lot. Yeah, I'm just going nowhere, just like always, but now I'm in my garage going nowhere. It's all relative. Man. Yeah. I did 256 <laughs> on a bike this morning. Good and for I you. I felt happy with that. Yeah. Can you honestly believe that this is on TV? When you were younger and you would watch like late night shows, you know, I imagine there would have been a bit of you at some point would have gone, oh, I wonder if I'd ever get to, to work on that, on something like that. Did you ever think that this is what it would be? N no, no, I, no, <laughs> no. Not like this. <laughs> Not like... <laughs> I thought I thought like there was a good chance I'd be a diaper in a diaper getting like thrown into like a pool full of baked beans on Conan or something like that. But I didn't sure. think it would be like this. Yeah, you wouldn't be as degrading as this. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, look, we're doing it now. Listen, you know, we're we're doing all this. We're joking around, but you know, safety comes first, comedy comes second. So keep that in mind. <laughs> as we head into today's <laughs> headlines. Now, as you know, the state of Georgia went to the polls today to vote in two runoff elections that will ultimately decide which party controls the Senate. If Republicans win either race, they will control the Senate. The Senate. And if Republicans lose the race, 
they'll still say they won and we'll all be pretty much back where we started. Uh, here's the thing. <laughs> I'm a song and dance man from High Wycombe. It's a small market town about 40 minutes outside of London. I long for the day when I'm not white knuckling it on the night of a Georgia Senate runoff. I'm not saying it's a stressful <laughs> evening, but anyone trying to do a dry January is screwed right now. <laughs> to rally Republicans, President Trump flew to Georgia last night and on the flight, Ivanka Trump took this photo, which looks like a photo you would take if there was a celebrity in the booth next to you at a restaurant. Then you remember that that's a father and his daughter and it's just kind of sad. But here's the thing, when she posted <laughs> the photo to social media, Ivanka tagged the official GOP account, the two Georgia Senate candidates, and then bizarrely, the singer Meatloaf. Which I'm out of the loop here. Is Meatloaf running for Senate? <laughs> I feel bad for Meatloaf in all of this, I do. He was just minding his own business, wearing a billowing linen shirt, open to the navel, playing two grand pianos at the same time, illuminated by a thousand candelabras, and then all of a sudden, bang, his Twitter's just blowing up. Now, when they got to the rally, Kimberly Guilfoyle introduced her boyfriend, Donald Trump Jr., and she got a little intense. I have to tell you, I have the great honor and pride to work every single day with an incredible maverick who loves his father, who fights and believes in this country, and that's Donald Trump Jr., the son of the President of the United States. And he loves Georgia. And he loves Georgia. <laughs> I mean, that was so loud. Is she introducing the president's son or trying to enter a grocery store without a mask on? Now, here's the thing. When Donald Trump Jr. took to the stage, somehow he managed to get even louder. Guys, when you're at a disadvantage, you don't take your ball and go home. You get out there and you fight harder. Based on his tone, when he says ball, I assume he means eight ball. I mean, can you imagine these two at dinner? How was your day? It was good. What about you? Also good. Want to watch the crown later? Yeah, but we got to finish the rest of the Marx Singer. It's on DVR. Oh, we could just do cocaine. <laughs> I mean, can you imagine what these two are like in bed? <laughs> No, this must please. be a contest to show each other who's having a better time. <laughs> now, later in the rally, President Trump demonstrated America's strength by flexing his own arm. Now, have a look. Together with the incredible people of Georgia, we have made America powerful again, our military. We have made America wealthy again, our stock market. We have made America strong again. Look at that arm. Look at that. <laughs> that must be his tweeting arm. <laughs> I tell you what, look, this is how we end up with Trump in a boxing ring having a fight with Logan Paul. I'm all for it. I am. <laughs> As usual, Trump ended the rally by once again dancing to the YMCA. Go get him, David. Go get him, Kelly. Go get him. Oh, there it is. <laughs> oh, I don't get it. I just don't Look get at it. them arms. It's, it's oh. actually disturbing. He yeah. looks like he's pulling a lever on two Froyo machines at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> Well, honestly, when I saw that last night, I found myself, I got sad. I did, because I realised this is probably Trump's last rally as president, which means we've just watched him dance to the YMCA for the last time, you know? Ah. Yeah, but we'll never forget. And to commemorate this moment, we've put together a little video. Enjoy.
We'll be right back with more of The Late Late Show, everybody.